trying to scoop. Oh, shoot. Here comes Tom Lehman. <laughs> How are you, Tom? And there's the Ryder Cup brought in here, being carried with the white gloves. <laughs> I know the white gloves, that's right. Yeah. And uh, hey, great to see you back yeah. in Minnesota. It's great to be here. I yeah. love it. Love it. Love it. This has got a big, a big thrill for you as a former uh, captain of the Ryder Cup team to have this wonderful tournament coming to your home state. Uh, it couldn't be better, uh, you know, and we haven't had a lot of a success over the last uh, 10 Ryder Cups. I think we've lost eight of the last 10 and haven't won since 2008. So uh, hopefully bringing a victory to, to Minnesota would be something pretty special. Now you're vice captain, correct? Correct. What is a vice captain? What's your responsibility? Make sure we don't take that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you well, take that home with you, first of all? Yeah, keep it shine. <laughs> you know, I think it's it's. You know, Davis Love is a captain. He, he needs to kind of set the plate for the team, and us assistants simply help him to do his job. But you're not the only one, and, and I know Tiger Wood. There's other yeah, helping out. Tiger Woods, Jim Furyk, Steve Stricker, myself. You know, we're all there, really supporting Davis and what he's trying to do. You know, I didn't, and I went to your conference, press conference that you had. I didn't realize that David Love the third, as captain, can control the rough and the the grass and the, how quick the greens are and. Also, can he also control pin placements? Absolutely. Yeah, the the home captain has the ability to set the course up the way he chooses to set it up. Uh, you want to have it favor your team, obviously. Uh, you know, the way the course is set up this year, I think we have a big advantage with length. Uh, I think we also have a big advantage in putting and chipping. Uh, so, you know, a longer course with less rough really benefits us. Driven to right center field. Kepler going back, and that sails over his head. And Cabrera will dig for second. Here's the throw. And Safe at second base. Rare doesn't run well, and he just barely beat Kepler's throw right on target on one up. Yeah, Polanco made the quick tag, and then you see Paul Monitor's foot out back on the turf. And take a look at the throw in from Kepler. Yep. Uh -huh. But then he, you know, there's a case where Polanco, I'm sure, will be told keep the tag on the runner because for a brief time, Cabrera's foot became a disengaged with the base as it is it's a lead off double and J.D. Martinez will back now you you played in the Ryder Cup as well right I did what makes the event so special you won the British Open you played in the most prestigious golf tournaments in the world but what makes the Ryder Cup so special well first of all it's a team thing so uh, that for starters that's it it's you know us versus them you know the United States versus Europe a big deal. Uh, they certainly love to beat the U.S. So there's a bit of a chip on their shoulder, and it should be on ours as well. Uh, you know, but uh, the passion. You know, every every swing you make in the Ryder Cup makes somebody happy or makes somebody sad. Um, and, and every hole from the very beginning is like the final holes of a major. I mean, there's so much pressure from the very beginning to the very end. It's a three-day event. Friday, Saturday, I believe. Tell us what what do you do Friday and Saturday? Okay, well, Friday there's there's two sessions Friday and Saturday each uh, and eight guys play you know four teams of two so you play two sessions of best ball and two sessions of alternate shot you know, so each each session four guys are sitting and eight guys are playing you know, which is tough in and of itself trying to figure who who sits and who plays right. uh, but you play those four and then you have 12 points on Sunday which is just singles is mono a mono so on Sunday all 12 play they do They're just match against match. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. I've had uh, the uh, challenge. I was going to say pleasure, but the challenge of playing Hazeltine a few times. Uh, it's an extraordinary golf course. How is it suited for this type of tournament play? Well, it's difficult. It's a, not an easy uh, course to play. There's a lot of uh, difficult shots, a lot of awkward angles, uh, a lot of kind of crossing winds. Uh, High fly center field. And Buxton looks like he has room. No, but uh, you know, it's a very uh, Cabrera say. trying for third base the ball coming through and he barely makes it safely again. I'm sorry for the interruption. Hey there's a baseball game going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Cabrera you know not known for his speed but he takes the chance right here by tagging up now. He's going back he's watching Buxton the way he catches this ball. Does he get behind the ball ready to throw. And he does. But no cutoff man the ball going all the way into Escobar but Cabrera beats it. A rare three hop throw from Buxton and the runner Cabrera is safe at third with one down and now Justin Upton who took three pitches for a strikeout his first time up. Now you said in your press conference too that there are 11 that are set. 
players. Correct. And there's there's one alternate or there's one more out of four that you're looking at. Well, there's one more pick to come on Sunday night, and there's probably legitimately four guys who have a legitimate chance to get that pick. Okay. One and zero, oh, and Upton takes high. What do you anticipate the yardage being? Well, I think it really depends upon uh, how you who you want to play. You know, we have a team full of some long hitters, and there's uh, so a few guys who are more steady, a little bit shorter, straighter. So you can go small ball, set it up shorter, or you can set it way back and let the big bombers go and bomb. So, you know, it's there's a strategy. So you, you I'm sorry, I didn't interrupt, but yeah. you have that opportunity to say move the tees up. Absolutely. Have the shorter hitters. Because, Absolutely. Because U.S. has that opportunity. Did they do that over in Europe when you guys did the same thing two years ago? Well, there's been times, for example, where the U.S. has had much longer hitters and they've actually stopped the fairway about 275 or 280. Uh, where the U.S. couldn't hit driver, you know, so you had a 280, then there's rough for no reason. You know, it was simply to take the driver out of the bag for the American team. I'll be it, darned. That's yeah. not fair. Well, they did it, so that's the beauty of the uh, home. What are we going to do to mess them up then? What are we going <laughs> we to yell in their backswing? I don't know. That's something. Yeah, they get two gotchas. I'll tell yeah. you what the first gotcha is. Tamper toward third. Cabrera bluffs, and now he's going to try to come home. Here's the throw, and He's safe, I think. No, oh. they call him out, but he sure looks safe from here. The call is a double play, and I'm going to believe that the Tigers are going to challenge this and might get it turned around. How about Cabrera? Boy, is he running like a young kid? I think his foot got in, though, didn't it? See what Murphy gets that glove near the plate. Oh, he got the oh, top boy. of the foot before the bottom touched the plate, maybe. Well, as a catcher, you want to put that glove right on top of the plate, but boy, I don't know. Yeah, they're going to take a look at yeah. it. This will be, we think, the definitive view here. It looks like yeah. Adrian Johnson's in the way. This view looked like he might have gotten the foot, but the tag isn't made until Cabrera's foot is on home plate. They're going to take a look right here. I believe he's safe. I think what Murphy should have done, he should have dropped that glove right in front of whole plate at that corner, and that way Cabrera would have slid right into the glove. You know, Cabrera not known for his base running, but he aggressively took second, aggressively took third, kind of danced off of third base as Escobar threw across the diamond, and we think he scored second run of the game. They have replay at the Ryder Cup. Anything <laughs> yeah. worth reviewing or challenging? Hopefully not. <laughs> How about Mulligan tickets? You guys sell Mulligan tickets at all? <laughs> you know what? Every player would love to have a couple. <laughs> we'll see what the verdict is here. The headsets are coming off. Safe. So the run will count. And Miguel Cabrera with his bat and base running has given the Tigers a two to nothing lead. Give Upton credit for a run batted in. Now, Tom, I know you have played in Ryder Cups. What's your most memorable moment in, in the Ryder Cup? Boy, I've had a few. Uh, well, the most memorable for sure was you know, as part of the 99 team that won at Brookline. Uh, there's nothing like that Sunday singles when we were four points down and came back to win. But I think one specific moment, uh, 18th hole, Corey Payton and I beat Faldo and Montgomery in a morning match at Oak Hill, and I hit a five iron through the rain to about 205 yards to the pin to about 20 feet. We won the match, you know, so I can think of one shot. You know, that one always stands out. You know, one thing that I enjoy about the event, watching it on TV, and of course we'll be on the road. We won't be able to to be there for the event itself. You guys are always, almost always, restrained emotionally on the golf course. You have to be because you have to keep your emotions in check. With the Ryder Cup, you get to see emotion and joy and, and grief and and very much uh, an animated atmosphere. Your personalities come out more. Well, I think, yeah, the and, and the crowd responds. You know, the the ability to get the crowd even more engaged after something happens, a single, you know, fist pump or a look or something to keep the crowd even even more behind you. It, you, you, need, you need to do that. You need to, you need to play the crowd a little bit to make sure that they're totally behind you. Tom, we'll uh, wish, uh, thank you for the visit, but yeah. we'll wish you great weather and a great event at Hazeltine. Good luck, U.S. Uh, team uh, in the Ryder Cup. Right. Thank you very All much. Right.